What's up guys, it's Fabio here and today we are looking at the Logitech Crayon. So this bad boy is an alternative to the Apple Pencil 2 and if you have an iPad yourself, you've probably at some point considered getting yourself a stylus. Now at £120 for the Apple Pencil 2, it's a lot of money to spend on a stylus and in my opinion you need to really be able to justify that expense with your usability. Myself, I don't really uh, use the pencil in such a way that I could justify spending that kind of money. Uh, for me, a stylus is limited to swiping around the iPad screen as well as maybe the odd writing note session when I'm reading a book. That's about it. So I couldn't really bring myself to spend that kind of money. I'd rather spend it on an accessory like a keyboard case that, that I would make much more use of. So in this video, I wanna dive deeper into why the Logitech Crayon is a good option for you if you are in the market for a stylus and you just don't wanna spend that kind of money. So let's get started. So let's start by looking at use cases, right? Um, I think the main people who would benefit from a stylus of any sort would be artists and potentially students or working professionals who like making handwritten notes. Um, for those kinds of people, if you will be using this thing day in and day out, you will not be disappointed by the Logitech Crayon. It really is super responsive, very nice to use. It's got this kind of flat, carpenter style design for a pencil. Um, so if you've ever used one of those building style pencils, the flat versions, you, this will be super familiar. But yeah, very ergonomic. The sort of um, outer shell, I think is made out of aluminium. It feels very nice anyway. The only thing I don't like so much, I have to be honest, is this rubberized plastic at the ends. It's, it can be quite finicky. So at the top here, you've got a cover for the lightning cable, which is fine, I, I don't mind that, but it, it kind of comes out of place a bit too easily for me personally. And it just, I think dampens the whole aesthetic of the, the crayon. Pairing the Logitech crayon to your iPad is also super easy. There's no long Bluetooth setup process. You literally just hold down the power button for about two, three seconds at most. Uh, it'll start flashing green and then you open up your iPad and you can start tapping away. It really is that simple. So there's no long process. There are a couple of things that the Logitech crayon compromises on that the Apple Pencil offers and for me, they don't matter so much. I wish that the features were there, but hey. This, so the two things are magnetism, so you can't actually attach the Logitech Crayon to your iPad the same way the Apple Pencil does, and therefore the wireless charging. You don't get that, and, and I feel that's a real shame. And then the pressure sensitivity. And I think the pressure sensitivity is really where this will be worth the compromise if you're going to invest in the crayon. This doesn't have any sensitivity, so it will just write in one thickness all the time. Whereas the Apple Pencil, on the other hand, you can do thick, thin lines, and, and it's just a, a more artist style tool. If that doesn't matter to you, and you just want something to write on, you'll be happy with this. 60 pounds versus the 120 of the Apple Pencil. However, if the features matter to you, that it latches on with a magnet, that you want the pressure sensitivity, and the design of this for any reason isn't up your alley, then you'll be better served by the Apple Pencil. However, if you are prepared to make those compromises, to be honest, for 60 pounds, you cannot go wrong with this. It's got a great battery life, pairing is super easy, and I actually really like the, the way it feels in the hand when I'm writing. So all in all, this gets a thumbs up from me. I would recommend it. What do you guys think? Do you think this is worth the compromise and the reduction in price in comparison to the Apple Pencil or would you just pay the full buck for, for the Apple Pencil itself? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for more tech videos, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.